Formula One cars flip at over 300 kilometers per hour, and the drivers walk away. Moto Grand Prix bikes crash just as fast, but sometimes the bike even lands back on its wheels. How does that happen? While Moto Grand Prix riders crash at crazy speeds, and somehow often stay upright afterward. Let us break down the science behind these wild crashes. You might have wondered why Formula One cars flip, but the drivers usually come out fine. Surviving a car flipping at high speed inside a safety cage or crashing at insane speeds fully exposed but protected by skill and gear? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Plus there is the halo device protecting their heads. When they crash at over 300 kilometers per hour, the bike can flip or slide wildly. Suspension acts like a spring soaking up some of the impact. Protective gear like airbag suits and helmets also helps a lot. Sometimes the bike even rights itself and lands back on its wheels. But every crash is unique, and the rider's skill speed and track conditions make a big difference. When a Formula One car flips, it might land on its roof or side, but the safety cage absorbs the impact. Even after flipping multiple times, drivers usually walk away unharmed. In Formula One, safety is everything. Drivers sit inside a carbon fiber survival cell. Think of it as a super strong cage. A Moto Grand Prix is a different story, Riders are fully exposed, no cages, no walls. So which do you think is more impressive? If you thought that was wild, hit like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science. Tell me which motorsport crash story blew your mind the most.